Hey guys, today in Art Club with Miss Burford we are going to make an Egyptian broad collar. You will need a paper plate, some scissors, a pencil, a glue stick, paint in these colours, especially gold, a paintbrush and some gems or some sequins. First flip your paper plate upside down so that the domed bit is facing up and you're just going to draw around the edge, the perforated edge with a pencil, draw a curved line to start with and then follow the perforated edge all the way around until you almost beat your curved line again and then you're going to finish with another curved edge, look at the video to see what I mean. These curved bits are what are going to hook around the neck. Then cut along the pencil line that you have just made and try and really curve those edges so that there's no sharp bits that are going to dig into the neck. Simply paint this C shape that you've cut out of the paper plate with gold paint. Either use acrylic or poster paint, they work best for this, but just cover the one side in gold paint and then leave this to dry. You could use another colour like red, blue or black like they used to in Egyptian times. However, gold is great for a base and you can add other colours later on. Now you can add some decoration to your gold base. So I went with some stripes of blue and some stripes of black. I used quite a bold bright blue so it stood out against the gold. It is a good idea to research different Egyptian broad collars before you do this project so you can see what styles they used to have and what shapes or patterns used to be on their collars. They used to use these collars to dress up their robes because their robes were quite plain. You can make your collar look so different in lots of different ways. You could do lots of things other than stripes or you could do uh, just black detail on there instead of adding colour which makes it stand out again in a different way. You could add birds, you could add um, circular polka dot kind of shapes which look like beads. You could do all sorts. Once again leave to dry. You might choose to just leave it here and just have painted detail but I went ahead and added some gold gems for a bit more detail. You could also use sequins or you could glue some string onto the gold necklace and paint over that with a pattern or you could also glue on beads but I don't like to add too much weight to the collar otherwise it falls off from around your neck. And there you have one Egyptian collar that you can wear as part of a fancy dress costume or just when you're studying the Egyptians. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this on a Monday and other art related videos on a Thursday. See you next week for more Out with Miss Burford!